Uh, hey YouTube, this is me again coming to make a little video just so you know something about Abraham Lincoln and his legacy. Now, Abraham Lincoln, like I said, he was not white. The man was mixed. He was black and white. So all that shit people assume, oh, Abraham Lincoln was white. No, he was not. If you look at the man's hair, he was clearly mixed. The man was not white at all. At all. I mean, it really wouldn't matter, but since the world tries to be so racially divided and shit, I guess it does, so whatever. But anyway, Abraham Lincoln's prophecy, or the reason, the reason he was sun down here, he was told to come down here and try to abolish slavery the best he could. So when he did that, he was born, he had interracial parents. So by nature, he didn't like slavery anyway, because he's seen how two, how you know a white woman and a black man, or a black man and a white woman can coexist with each other without hate. So, yeah. So he decided to become part of politics, and he read something that like he became a Republican, because way back in that time, like I think it was the 1700s, 1800s, Republicans had more power than anybody. So he decided, you know what? Let me become Republican and run for president just to see if I can win because I got the looks to win and he got voted for because people didn't know he was actually a black man but he was and what he did was instead of being a dumbass and just trying to get slaves because he knew he couldn't do it like that he read something called the slavery bill of rights or some shit like that and he saw that in order to free a slave you have to buy him because you can't just get a slave. I don't care who you are. You can't just do that. You have to buy them. Because they have to be legally your property to be able to do anything with them. So, he became Republican once he became president. And then he, you know, bought them. Signed the Bill of Rights stating that any slaves that are bought or, you know, purchased by a person can be free. Which in his mind, he's like, I don't think a motherfucker should be owning anybody. That's not what God made you for, but whatever. But anywho, so what he did was read the slavery bill of rights, found out he can only free a slave if he buy one. Then afterwards, all the other greedy ass Republicans back in his time figured out that he was trying to, how you say, free them and not use them for profit. So what they decided to do hire an assassin and found out where he would be at and then they murdered him before he could free all the slaves he wanted but he got a good enough amount of them so it really don't matter but yeah like Harriet Tubman same thing but instead of her owning slaves she was one but she was the type that she was gonna be free fuck what the white man got to say and her freedom caused her to miss her people go back for them and then her shit was like i ain't going to just go back for my family i'm going back for whoever wants to be free so you go get them take them up north where slavery is not illegal which made slavery more legal up there and it's illegal for slaves to leave their plantation and all that kind of stuff so give abraham lincoln and harriet tubman they props nigga they freed a lot of your goddamn ancestors and so did the 13th amendment which freed slaves so get them to they damn props when they deserve them man woman black white don't fucking matter just give them their props goodbye